If somebody sends you an Excel file that was created in an earlier version of Excel and you want to convert it to the latest 2013 for good reasons, like if it's an earlier, earlier version, Excel 2000 or 2002, you don't get the stable file format as you do in the most recent version. Also, it's going to be a larger file size because 2013 uses zip compression. And if it's a more recent version like 2010, you may not be able to use all the uh, new features in 2013 if you leave it in 2010. So to go ahead and convert it, I got an example here in my exercises folder. Let me double click to open it up. You can see uh, these two files here. As you recall in the previous training video, we created in the latest version of Excel 2013 as opposed to this one right here. And you can see right off the bat that you got a different icon from the latest version here. So, you know, which one of these is not like the other? Well, it's not like the latest versions. And you can see when I hover over it, it says in the pop-up, it was created in an earlier version of the range 97 through 2003. It could be 97, could be 2000, 2002, or 2003. It doesn't say, it just says that's the range. And also, if you have your extensions turned on where you can view them, and what I mean by extensions is that you've got the name of the file, and then you have a dot, and you have three or four letters after, which allows the operating system to know what program to open this file up in. And if you want to learn more about extensions, then you can watch my Windows 7 training video on extensions, but let's go ahead and keep it simple here. There's the extension XLS, and the one from the latest version, XLSX. And as we talked about in the previous training video, that extra X on the end is indicating that this was created in the extensible markup language file format, a more stable format, so a more stable file. Now, if you open up an Excel file that was created in an earlier version of Excel, let me double click to open it up, you'll be able to see up here on the title bar the compatibility mode so the latest version can read it. And for the most part, it can because we're not using any fancy formatting here in this workbook. And you can see down below we've got additional worksheets. We have worksheet two, which is for Utah, and we have a data sheet from New York for all the sales here in the different quarters. In any case, I digress. Let's go back to worksheet one and let's convert this thing. So to convert it to the latest version, it's really simple. Just come over here and click on the file tab. And by default, it goes to info. Just come over here and there you go, convert. So it says some new features are disabled to prevent problems when working with previous versions. So make sure you upgrade it to the latest version. That is, if you don't have to send it back and have them work on it and collaborate with you. If it's just FYI for you, I just do it. Go ahead and click on it, and there you go. This action converts a workbook to the current file format. That's good. Go ahead and click okie dokie. When you click OK, the original workbook is going to be deleted and can't be restored after the conversion. So, okie dokie. The workbook, in order for the conversion to take place, it's going to close out of it, then reopen it really quickly, and we'll say yes, we're okay with that. And you can see the compatibility mode is no longer there. And the extra X for the extension is now there, so it's in XML format. Sweet. And for more proof, let me go ahead and close out of here. You can see now in my exercises folder that, hey, all the same icons. And when I hover over it, it doesn't say it's an earlier version. And also the extension there has the extra X like these others that we created earlier in Excel 2013 letting us know that it's the extensible markup language, the more stable file format for the Excel file. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.